Good day, my people. Good day, everybody. Um, today, I got a message, a very nice one, a very good and uh, powerful message uh, from our great brother, Professor Chukwemeka Soludo. Um, he's uh, now um, presenting himself uh, as the flagship of uh, Biafra agitation and uh, I love uh, that movement I love uh, somebody in his position to raise his voice in support of his people. Um, Soludo is now putting himself uh, in the position to advise uh, our fellow Biafrans brothers and sisters out there. Likewise me, as I try to educate my people to their right to vote in that nation. But uh, Professor Soludo, the message that I got from uh, Sahara reporters um, made a very powerful remarks. And uh, I love that move, but I have a bot in his uh, statement because I am Miro African Television. My duty is to enlighten, teach my people, and inform my people <laughs> before things will get too late. If they will be able to listen, if they will be able to read sense into what I'm trying to say. Miro Africa is not against anybody. Miro Africa is only teaching, enlightening our people for them to make right decisions. You know what? I have been making some videos and my videos have been to advise our political elites in Nigeria, mostly in Eastern region. I am not pro IPOB. I am not pro Nigerian. I am Miro Africa Television. My, my platform is for unity and the progress of our people. You may ask yourself, why is Soludo my topic today? Soludo News waked me up. Soludo News brought back the sinking memory in my brain actually before before i do hear soludo i do um, 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 see some of things they claim that he does but uh, i have not um, researched about soludo i have not checked what soludo can be able to do but uh, for him to present because uh, somebody presented himself um, to be the new face of pro Biafra movement. Bracket. Then uh, it's my duty to research, to investigate, to know who is Soludo. Then I now fall in into something that made me to come out to make this video. <laughs> um, you know, Professor Soludo is a great man. You know, professor, for that matter. Powerful, you know. Read a lot. And um, his file that I just call off from my oracle, 
my PC <laughs> um, shows me a lot of things that uh, that push me to inform my people for them to stay clear. They should stay clear. So Ludo mentioned some certain things that everybody, both from Nigerian side, from agitating side, from IPOB, from Mossop, would like to hear. But when you keep on digging sense or reading meaning into what he's trying to project, he's, he's a strategic architect. He's like me. <laughs> You know, if you allow Soludo what he's trying to gain in this agitation, he will reconstruct everything that you guys are doing before your eyes. And you can't do anything about it. And he will position himself Where you would think <laughs> that he's with you. But Professor is a thinker, he's a strategic thinker. I, I'm not a professor, I didn't went to university, I didn't come out with a first class upper in economics, but he did. He has a lot of honors. But uh he made a lot of he made a lot of changes you know um let me try to pick one point some of what uh, professor did in in nigeria as a whole he's a great man he's like uh, our former um, um uh, minister of uh, finance um, our great lady in in Igbo land that worked with good luck Jonathan that is the same type of person that we are seeing here now this is our brother called Soludo so um, Soludo is um, He may be good, but uh, he doesn't care about his people. He doesn't give a damn about you. He's not willing to serve the interests of Igbos in that nation. My questions to Professor Soludo. Is this Professor Saludo? Do you love Ibos? Do you love your people? Are you proud to be an Igbo man? Do you love the area that you came out from, the eastern region? If you if your answers are yes. I have some questions for you. Chukuma Charles Soludo served as chairman and director of Nigerian Security Printing and Maintaining PLC. That is uh, Professor Soludo. Served as chairman of Board of African Finance, Finance Corporation. He served as the chairman of the finance of African cooperation. In this finance of a ten, you know, in Europe, if any position pertaining finance is coming out, they do compete and everybody lobby for his own person to be there to, to be able to secure the position. There is a reason for it. The question should be why are they pushing their own person to be there? For financial benefits. Not the one that will enter private pockets, that will 
prov um, provide the room for them to develop the more. So Ludo, during the time that you are serving as the chairman of Board of African Finance Corporation, did you inform them in any level, tell them the need for your people, what they can gain from the Eastern region when they come over to invest in that area? No. He served as the governor and chairman of the Central Bank of Nigeria. You know that your people are into production. Your people are into business. So Ludo, did you try to use Central Bank to create any room or um, um, departments that will promote the things that the youths are doing or the production or the things that will benefit your people, the Bia France? Maybe if at all that you did something, maybe this, ag this agitation now will not be going on. Did you do such a thing? The answer is no. But you are now the um, flag that will teach your people the best way to follow, that they should not be dying on the street. He has worked at the World Bank both as a short and a long term consultant since 1993 and also at the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. What did the Igbos benefited from all this position that you hold? Professor Saludo, I think you love, you love us so much. You love your people. In all this position that you are acquiring, holding, and doing anything, have you ever, in that period that you are holding those offices, think about your people for one good day? Remember what they can do with the or what you can achieve or what the, the, the alleviation that you can brought to them. Did you remember them? No. Good. He was a consultant to European Union, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. This same saludo. Did any European this thing came to Igbo land to even we are Brasmith, we have Brasmith people in Eastern region that need to be reshoveled and developed more. Didn't you see any potential in that? We have a lot of engineers in Eastern region, a lot of things that the world will be able to benefit from. And that one will help your people to grow out of this poverty that they are seeking into. Did you remember them when you are holding all this position? Did you ever think that the uh, need for this or some cooperatives to come to your area, I didn't say to hold this, to your own area, to do something for the people? Because everything is finance. And you are into finance. You have started joining Biafra. Your file is up. You have a lot of questions to answer. United, okay. Um, he also hold the, in, uh, another position, United States Agency for International Development. So Ludo, can you mention some development you brought to Eastern region? Because I know that America loves to develop any part that if you are holding that position, it's your duty to push them that come and develop my area. As Obasanjo came to us and tell us develop your area. Soludo, did you brought any development to Eastern region? Because we know that you love us so much. Maybe if you brought, if you, if, if at all that you brought in something through your positions that you are holding, anything at all may divide the population of these people agitating on the street into half. Good. So Ludo, you're also in position in African Development Bank, Common Market for Eastern, East, Eastern and Southern Africa. Yes, this one is Africa, but did you tell them the need to invest in your area? No. International Development Research Council, also Canadian organization in terms of finance. You did not tell Americans, you did not tell Ottawa. You did not even remember, you did not even care about your, your fellow brothers and sisters and your area. I'm coming though. There is where I will touch Mr. Soludo the more 
he have a lot of questions to answer you know because uh, our people are, are not good in, in researching and, um, and bringing out some certain things to light they will see that, oh a prominent person from our area have started joining us but you don't know his hidden agenda you know council for the development of social science and research in africa so though you do, you went to school in soccer i mean looking at the soccer university do you still remember that you passed through that university to become what you are today the evil that men do we live with them uh, among others Professor Soludo has served as senior technical advisor, consultant, as well as a visiting scholar at the IMF since 1994, and also taught IMF financial program and policies courses to senior staffs of, of central banks in West Africa, and other development reasons. He has served as a member member technical committee that drafted economic and trade policies for the federal government of nigeria Boa! dr soludo here is the key you help nigeria to draft the economic and trade policies did this year drafting in any position put in a comma or in a little page something that will develop eastern region something that will tell nigeria or show nigeria the need for them to spread the economy the whole nigeria not only in eastern region because i'm mentioning eastern region because our people normally says um, charity begins at home not that I don't like other part of Nigeria. Every African citizen matters to me. I'm not a tribalist, tribalistic human being, but I'm talking because of uh, this proverbs that says charity begins at national law, manama powama. That's why I keep on mentioning Eastern region where I came from. But men look at Nigeria today, you will know that every citizen of Nigeria is under colony of their political elites. The landlords and the cat and the, the landlords of every resources in eastern region, oil come oil, oil wells, the owners are the northern Nigerians. The largest people who have ruled Nigeria in terms of leadership are the houses. Do, did they develop that area more than eastern region? Little. Somebody, one, one Hausa guy made me to understand that when Atiku was the vice president of Nigeria, that they normally have light when he visited their village. When he leaves, the light will go with him. You understand? Did he ever hand over the power of light to anyone living in that community so that when he leaves, the light will remain? No. That is the system of government in Nigeria. They want you to stay on the line to come and beg them anything you want whenever they come back. But when they need that position, they will, come, you will, they will use their word to convert you to become their ladder so that they will be able to climb to that position, secure it, and destroy the ladder. If they eat the men, they will be able to throw dust on the floor and you guys will be rolling around to find something to eat. Too bad. So Ludo is also executive director of the African Institution Institute for Applies Economy, Economics. Professor Ludo joined the federal government of Nigeria in July 2003 as the economic advisor to the president of the Obasanjo. So Ludo, during the time of Obasanjo is when Nigeria closed all the whole seaports operating in Eastern region, pushing the whole business that is in Eastern region to the to the uh, west.
to Lagos. So you are among those that draft the, the, the laws that destroy the economy of the Eastern people. So Ludo, you have to come out and explain because you brought yourself out and we are here. I am here now to ask you questions. You joined the Nigerian government in 2003 as economic advisor and the chief executive of the National Planning Commission, NPC, among other accomplishments during the 10 month in office. Did you hear that one? Soludo is one of the architects that draw the economic system that is running in Nigeria today. It means what we are crying, what we are telling the governors to do for us, to press the federal government to alleviate it, the, 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 the embargo, economic embargo they gave to Eastern region. The, 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 the um, 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 uh, economic uh, um, um, marginalization that you can only succeed when you go to the West. You can only succeed in business when you move your business to, to Lagos. It, is, it was our own brother who studied in, in, in our own university in soccer. Even though the professors that teach you, that help you to become what you are today, you didn't even put them into account, even though they are children, to tell them thank you when you are drafting the plan of economic um, 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 destiny in Nigeria. But you plan it and destroy the whole development that is in Nigeria. Hell, professor, you are the forefront and the flag of Biafra. He was the chairman coordinator of the team that drafted Nigeria Economic and Social Reform Program 2003-2007, the National Economic Empowerment and Development Strategy. Did those strategy benefited the Eastern region to anywhere, to any angle, in any comma? Men looking at Eastern region, they are dying like rats. Look at them on the street, agitating to pull out. So Ludo, didn't you know that such a thing will come out if the economic of Nigeria didn't spread? up to that area oh my god and also pioneer the collaborative planning framework in the nigerian federal by in initiating and assisting state government in designing their state economy men looking at uh, our state uh, government today do you think that there, are, there, there, there is something that will bring success in that area empowerment and development strategy seeds so Ludo, you plan the thing that destroyed you are the architect the suffering that Igbos are facing today and they are bringing that strategy now to hijack the cry that these guys are crying so that nobody outside will hear their voice holding them their neck and asking them what is happening so Ludo, as governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria since May 2004, Professor Soludo has reinforced or reinforced the Central Bank as an effective monetary authority and successful implemented a fundamental restructuring which has led to unprecedented consolidation of the Nigerian banking system. <laughs> How many business people in Eastern region can go to Nigerian bank and borrow money to run their businesses? How many people in Eastern region will go to bank and borrow money to build houses they will be able to rent out and be paying gradually? No, none. But when you are living in Lagos, Edo, Bini, any other northern Nigeria will be able to do it. How many farmers in, in Eastern region will be able to go to bank and borrow money to be able to promote and elevate his uh, um, um, blockade in, in farming? Soludo, Soludo, de de ne. You know, we are here to enlighten our people. We are not against you. But you cannot kick your, eat your cake and have it. You destroy their people. You we are in position where you're supposed to make changes that will benefit these young youths. Did you do it? No. You only structure things that will push them to move to Lagos, to Yoruba, or Northern Nigeria to be able to become somebody. I'm sorry, sir. Don't use her to get any political appointee or political position in Nigeria. Because I am not with a Peter Biafra. You know? You 
promoting and talking all these things you are talking on that salary portal. So you are provoking. We are opening your file now. After everything, I got to convert all these things to audio and add it to this video for our people to keep on listening. Your positions and where you started and where you came them. He is current a member of International Advisory Group for the UK DFID, a member of the Chairman Economic Advisory Council of the World Bank, an International Advisory Group of the UK Department for International Development. But I'm not seeing any development in your area. He is also a member of Initiative for Policies Dialogue, IPD, a global network for more than 200 leading economists political science and uh, um, practitioners to help developing countries explore policies alternatives and enable wide civil participation in economic policy making. Saludo, <laughs> you are in position to change the whole Eastern region if you want to. But do you have the zeal? Do you love your people? As you were talking that these guys should not be going on the street and get themselves killed because of their agitation. Do you, do you think that you talking to them will rescue their, their, their mind? These guys are graduates like you before. Most of them are businessmen. Most of them are farmers who can no longer farm again. Students who graduated who cannot find a job. Workers who cannot be able to continue in what they are doing. What are you doing to help them? In this audio position and audio knowledge in your brain, what do you think that we can use to construct the Eastern region for it to be more productive again? You were there. Abba was producing shoe that China have dominated today. Did you do anything to safeguard those production? <laughs> Saludo. He hold Nigerian third highest national honor of a commander of the order of the Federal Republic, CFR. He is a fellow of the Chartered Institution of Bankers of Nigeria, CIBN. Fellow of the Nigerian Economic Society, NES, and has been awarded DSC honor, honoris CAC. Kaksu or whatever they call it, by the University of Calabar and also by the Federal University of Agriculture, Makurudi. After his secondary school education, he proceeded to the University of Nigeria and Soka, where he graduated with first class degree in economics. Dede <laughs> Soludo, what am I not saying? You help Nigeria to destroy the Eastern region. You help Nigeria to, to make things wrong, make things hard for your people. You are the agitator that things that these guys agitating on the streets are suffering today. You are the agitator of it because their problem started from Obasanjo government up to now. That means the legacy that you dropped is what we are suffering today. So, Please stop telling us or trying to sell yourself as the new face of the pro Biafra movement. You will never in your life love Biafra. You will never in your life accept Biafra. Because Biafra have not, you have not benefited anything from Biafra. Nigeria keep on feeding you. You can never bite the finger that fed you. So telling us all this rubbish that you are trying to sell to us here, the need for, for the youth to come out to, to the person that you will choose for them to go and vote him in. You only need them like toilet roll. Now you want to go to the toilet and you remember, oh, do I have a toilet roll that I would like to use? Yes, I have one. Who are they? Those idiots on the street agitating for rubbish. It's now, to, it's now time for us to use them to put our own person in power. So, as I said before, it's your right and your duty. And the only right that you have that remains for you 
in that Nigeria is the power of voting. Don't listen to Soludo. Never you follow him. He have collected his money and now using the best strategy that he knows best. I, I said it before. I have read about him now that I just know and I went into his comment. I noticed that he's a, he's a economic strategic human being. And anybody who is a strategic thinker, you have to be very, very careful in following that person. He will use you as rag and drop you. So Ludo will never ever support the agitation of Biafra. Rather, if you allow him in, he will like you to rely on him and he will push you to the bottomless pit. So Ludo asks me, have anything happened now? No. But I'm telling you today, if you follow Soludo, he is like a pit in eastern region. Do you hear pit? Bottomless pit, a hole that nothing will be able to fill. You will drop whatever you drop in that hole will sink. That is Soludo. Why is he doing it? That is the question you ask yourself. He draw the architect that crippled the eastern region as a whole. That's my message for you. And listen to this audio now. That is what I just read. The computer will read it out for you. For you to listen to it again. Remain blessed. I am your humble researcher. Zebedee. Chikuyume Charles Saliado serves as Chairman and Director of Nigerian Security Printing and Minting PLC. Professor Saliado served as Chairman of the Board of African Finance Corporation. He served as Governor and Chairman of the Central Bank of Nigeria. He has worked at the World Bank both as a short and long-term consultant since 1993 and also at the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, Addis Ababa. He was a consultant to UNCTAD, European Union, EU, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, United Nations, UN, New York, United States Agency for International Development, USAID, African Development Bank, ADB, Common Market for Eastern and Southern Africa, COMSA, African Union, O, International Development Research Council, IDRC, Canada, Council for the Development of Social Science Research in Africa, CODESRIA, Economic Community of West African States, ECAWAS, among others. Professor Saliado has served as Senior Technical Advisor slash Consultant as well as a Visiting Scholar at the IMF since 1994, and also taught IMF's Financial Programming and Policy course to senior staff of central banks in West Africa and other developing regions. He has served as, member, technical committees that drafted economic and trade policies for the federal government of Nigeria, and executive director of the African Institute for Applied Economics, LAE. Professor Saliado joined the federal government of Nigeria in July 2003 as the economic advisor to President Obasanjo and the chief executive of the National Planning Commission, NPC. Among other accomplishments during the 10 months in office, he was the chairman slash coordinator of the team that drafted Nigeria's economic and social reform program, 2003 to 2007, the National Economic Empowerment and Development Strategy, needs, and also pioneered the collaborative planning framework in the Nigerian Federation by initiating and assisting state governments in designing their state economic empowerment and development strategy, seeds. As governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria since May, 2004, Professor Saliado has refocused the central bank as an effective monetary authority and successfully implemented a fundamental restructuring which has led to unprecedented consolidation of the Nigerian banking system. He is currently a member of the International Advisory Group for the UKDFID, a member of the Chief Economist Advisory Council of the World Bank and the International Advisory Group of the UK Department for International Development, DFID. He is also a member of the Initiative for Policy Dialogue, IPD, 
a global network of more than 200 leading economists, political scientists, and practitioners to help developing countries explore policy alternatives, and enable wider civic participation in economic policy making. He holds Nigeria's third highest national honor of Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, CFR. He is a fellow of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, CIBN, fellow of the Nigerian Economic Society, NES, and has been awarded D.Sc. Honoris Causa by the University of Calabar and also by the Federal University of Agriculture, Makurdi. After his secondary school education, he proceeded to the University of Nigeria, Ansuka, where he graduated with a first-class degree in economics. He also undertook his postgraduate and doctorate degrees in economics from the same university winning on both occasions, the prize for the best graduating student.